What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you ways to visualize your data in Airtable. I'm going to show you a few different methods using like pivot tables and charts, many different types of charts. I'm going to show you how you can use your data in, that's already in Airtable and just add these native integrations with an app. These will be in the app section of your Airtable and I would say as a business owner or startup, these are going to be incredibly useful so that you can make better informed decisions and you can have that overview and you can create your own dashboard of what information you need to be tracking. If you haven't met me yet, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and I help people, probably just like you, help business owners build out their systems, build out their software stack and help them build out like data visualization and mainly automation, but there's a lot of database implementation that gets done as well. So if you would like help with that, reach out to me, but Hope this video is helpful and we'll get right into it now. So now into the tutorial, this is an example of what you might have in your Airtable base. This is a CRM, so you have like your contacts, your accounts, interactions with those potential clients, as well as an opportunities table to really sum it all up. And what we're, I'm going to show you is I'm going to create some apps over here in this dashboard. And if you haven't yet found the apps yet, if you're in your Airtable base, you just come up here to the top right and you click apps. And what you want to do to start off is think about your role in the organization, what like tables and visualizations will help you make better informed decisions. What stuff would you like to see summarized in a way that really helps you make these decisions and then you can communicate those better to your team and your clients as well. So you'll want to create a dashboard and there's already a few in here. So we'll just create this new one. You just come up here and you can rename it. So we'll do this as the tutorial. And then, so now you have your dashboard and what you're going to be able to add in here is you're going to be able to add multiple different apps. You can do the, that pivot table that I mentioned. You can do other charts such as pie charts, bar charts, line charts, and like scatter charts. So to create an app, there's obviously these two ways you can do it. Install an app here or install an app up here. And this is all in the cloud, so it's not really gonna take much space on your computer. Just It just needs to be able to run. So you're installing it into your base. What you'll do is if you don't see chart or pivot table down here, then you can come up here and search for it. So if I just search for pivot table, I'll find it here and you can click install. So now once you're in your pivot table, it's probably already going to have something set up in here. And what you're going to want to do is customize it. So right now it's set up. You're like comparing the, like the owner and the status. So how many for this employee, how many leads does he have in the qualification phase, the proposal phase, the evaluation phase. So you can see if like there's a ton of people getting people all the way to negotiation, or you can see if there's people that are stuck at qualification, then maybe you can create a plan on how to better help them out. So this one's already preset for us. And if you want to change what you're seeing over here and over here, you can come over here and change the row grouping and the column grouping. So right now owner is picked as the row grouping, but say we change it to priority. So now we can see for like very low, low, medium and high, very high as well, which leads are making it to which step in the process. And this can be very useful to create some different kinds of, some different kinds of visualizations for you. And you can also, you can filter your data as well. And the way that you filter that data is you filter it by using a view. So you would want to go create a view and filter out only the data you want in this pivot table. And you probably already have this view and you use it for a different function just so you can have better visibility there. But you can just change this to that view. So like if I change it to only, I only want to see the ones where it's been closed in one, you can change it to that table. And it'll filter out all of those records you don't want in there. And obviously this isn't like a very good visual visualization with just closed one. So maybe you just get it to like down to three of them for the status but we'll go back to the all opportunities. And you can also change the table. So because it's in apps, the apps are gonna, you're gonna be able to see these throughout any table that you're in, in your Airtable base. So you can choose which table you want to see in here. 
So that is the basics of using the pivot tables in Airtable, and now we are going to move to the charts. So to find the charts, you just do the same exact thing. You just come over here and click install an app, and then you can choose charts. So you can just click install charts, and it might take a second, but this is where you can create these five different types of charts, and you can visualize whatever data in a very similar way as the pivot tables, but with different tools. Again, if you want to filter or you want to just change the table, then you can change the table by clicking this drop down pick from one of your other tables. And if you want to filter it, go ahead and create that view in that table and then click whichever view you have that filter set exactly how you like it. You also can come over here and choose which one you want. So if you want a line, a scatter, keep in mind line is typically used for like the time series data, but you can use it for how, however it's going to help you. So. Whichever one you want to choose, I kind of like this one, it has some good color. It doesn't, pie charts don't generally, like it, it's good in like a report, but to make decisions, uh, I would go with something like the bar. If you want to change what kinds of data you have in here, you can switch it with the x-axis over here. So you can switch the x-axis, say I change it to priority, like we just showed you a little bit ago. And you can see the different priorities based on the number of opportunities in each priority. And obviously for the y-axis, you can choose a few different things. So right now we just have count. You could also try to group it as well. So if I wanted to group it by accounts, then it's not gonna be very pretty, but if you pick whichever one gives you the best vis visibility into the data, then you can do that. And you can also implement stuff like the stack. So if you have some prettier data in here, something that makes a little bit more sense than 30 different things over here, then you could try out the stack or whatever that may be. So now you've seen the five ways to do the chart types and you've also seen the pivot table. And this is how you're going to be using this in your Airtable base, is you can just leave the apps open over here or you can also close them. And if you click the X, they don't delete, but they're still over here and you can go back in and see your dashboard. So if I wanted to go to some of the other dashboards, then you can see like, you can pull in other data visualization tools and see it in other ways and also edit your data from these apps. But we will just leave this over here and you can see as I go to other tables, this stays over here on the right and it's very helpful. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, you wanna see other apps done, throw it in the comments. And if you need help implementing a database like this or some of the automations that we'll go to in a later, go into in a later video, then go down and hit the link. It says request a consultation and you can speak with me or someone on my team and we will get you set up. So I hope this was helpful and have a great day.